In a certain country, total alcoholic beverage sales were 118.4 billion in 2005 and 136.3 billion in 2009. A let the x-axis denote time and the y-axis denote the number of alcohol sales in billions. Let x equal zero correspond to 2005. Fill in the blanks. The given data is represented by the two points and we will come to that as we start working on the problem. Part B, find the linear equation determined by the two points in Part A. Part C, use the equation in Part B to estimate the alcohol sales produced in 2006. Part D, if the model remains accurate, when do alcohol sales reach $170 billion? For this particular problem, you're given all the information that you need along with techniques that you've already learned. So when we go back and we look at this original statement, in a certain country that really doesn't matter to us, and even the total alcoholic beverage sales, it doesn't matter because everything that we're going to do that are similar to problems like this, whatever the leading statement is, what I'm really concerned with is this part that comes next. We're 118.4 billion in 2005, and 136.3 billion in 2009. That right there is the information that we need in order to solve this problem. So we'll go to part A and we see that it says let the x-axis denote time. Well if the x-axis is going to denote time for this particular case we're looking at these two years. So x-axis is time and we know that we have two years that we're dealing with right now 2005 and 2009 then the y-axis will denote the amount of alcohol sales in billions so y-axis and we'll just say sales and we'll go ahead and write billions just above that so that we know that we're looking at that total amount now we're given this information and this is key. Let x equal zero correspond to 2005 which means that this year is going to be x equals zero. This is our zero year. This is where everything starts. That means that the year 2009 will be x is equal to and how do we find that? We'll take the 2009, the year that we're concerned with, and we'll subtract the zero year or the initial year from that and we'll end up with a value of four. So x is equal to four. That right there gives the x coordinates for the two data points that we're trying to fill in the blanks for. Now remember, this says fill in the blanks. The given data is represented by the points. Well, I've got a missing X here and 118.4 billion. Well, 118.4 billion occurs in 2005, and we know that 2005 is represented by X is equal to zero. The next one shows we have a four and a comma. Well, remember that we're dealing with ordered pairs here x comma y okay we've already done that here this is an x and a y x y so now I need to do the same thing for this one x and y well the x value of 4 corresponds to this the year 2009 and in 2009 I see that there was 136.3 billion dollars in sales so I can simply write 1 36.3 here. So those are our two ordered pairs. So let's go ahead and write that out because we're going to need both of those. The first ordered pair is 0, comma 118.4. The second ordered pair is 4, comma 136.3. Now remember, as I said, these are x and y's. x, y, and we'll say this is x sub 1 and y sub 1 and this is x sub 2 and this is y sub 2. There are two different ways to take this information and continue with what we need. Part B is to find the linear equation. 
And in order to find the linear equation, I'm going to use those two points. There are two different ways to go about doing this. First off, I'm, I can use the point-slope form of an equation. And that's given as y minus y sub 1 is equal to m times x minus x sub 1. Well, I don't have a slope, but I can easily find the slope for this problem using the slope formula, which is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's one way of approaching this. Another way is if you realize that this right here is going to represent the y-intercept, and I know it's the y-intercept because x is equal to 0, I could use the slope-intercept form of the equation. And the slope-intercept form, as you already know, is y is equal to mx plus b. And the b component would be the y coordinate of the y-intercept. And then I still need to find the slope, which we would still use this formula. So I'm going to go ahead and use the point-slope form because this works no matter what I have for two points. So let's go ahead and find our equation using the point-slope form. Well, first off, I need the slope. And in order to do the slope, I'm going to use y sub 2. Well, where's y sub 2? It is right here. So that's going to be 136.3. I'm going to subtract from that y sub 1. And where's y sub 1? Well, y sub 1 is right here which is 118.4 and then in the denominator I'll go ahead and start with x sub 2 which is this value right here of 4 and I'm going to subtract from that x sub 1 which is this value right here of 0 and then I simply use my calculator to find the value we'll see that we have 100 and, I mean 17.9 over 4 we're going to go ahead and do that division and we'll end up with a decimal which is 4.475 and it's okay if we have a decimal for the slope when we're dealing with application problems now since I know what m is I can go ahead and look at my slope intercept form and I'm going to need to take this slope of m, which is this value here, and I'm going to put it in place of this m. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace this y sub 1 with my value y sub 1, which we had already designated as 118.4. And then I'm going to take the x sub 1, and I'm going to replace that with the value that we had designated as x sub 1 and in this case it'll be 0. So now my equation looks like this y minus 18.4 is equal to and the slope is 4.475 and we're going to multiply that by x minus x sub 1 and in this case remember that x sub 1 is equal to 0. Now, in order to use this, I'm going to have to solve for y. So, we'll go ahead and write this out as y minus 18.4 is equal to 4.475x. Now, remember, this 0 disappears. And in order to solve this, we'll simply add 18.4 to both sides. And since that's a constant, we'll put it over to the right. And I now have the equation y is equal to 4.475x plus 18.4, I had said 18.4, but it should be 118.4, and I apologize for that. 
All right, so now here's my equation. That's part B. Now remember, part C wants us to use that value or use that equation to estimate the alcohol sales produced in 2006. In order to do this, we need to determine what our x value is. And remember that if x equal, or I should say, if the year 2005 is x equals 0, we can assume that 2006 will be x equals 1 because I'll simply subtract 2005 from 2006. Well, if x is equal to 1, I'm going to go ahead and replace x in my equation, y equals 4.475x plus 118.4 and now I'll end up with y is equal to 4.475 times x is equal to 1 in this case plus 118.4 so this will be equal to 4.475 plus 118.4 and that will be equal to 122.875. Now, one of the things that we need to keep in mind is sometimes the problem may call for you to round various components of this. And if it had asked for the decimal places to be rounded to a single decimal place, we could rewrite our equation as y is equal to 4.5x plus 118.4. And this could also be rounded if it's a single decimal place. To 122.9. And what that means is we have 122.9 billion dollars in sales in the year 2006. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Make sure that you pay very close attention to the instructions. The last part of this is to find if trends hold. So if trends hold, in what year will alcohol sales reach 170 billion dollars well in order to do that remember that all sales are given in billions so for this particular problem this means that y will be equal to 170 so if I'm using the equation y equals, and let's just go ahead and use the rounded value, 4.5x plus 118.4, and I take this y value of 170, and I replace the y in my equation with that, I'll end up with 170 is equal to 4.5x plus 118.4. And now I want to solve for x. And I'll do that by subtracting the 118.4 from both sides of the equation. And that'll give me 51.6 is equal to 4.5x. And then I'm going to need to divide both sides of this equation by 4.5 in order to get x by itself. And in doing so, I end up with a value for x, so x is equal to 11, and we'll just round to 11.5. Now, in order to solve this, in what year will alcohol sales reach 170 billion? Remember that x equals 0 is equivalent to the year 2005. This right here is eleven and a half years. So eleven and a half years from 2005, I'm simply going to add 
11.5 to that and I end up with 2016.5 but remember I'm only concerned with the year that it happens so the answer to this is simply going to be 2016 so the sales reach 170 billion in 2016.